So uh, I will uh, start by presenting our team. Um, our team uh, gathers three different institutions, so two different research institutions and one private company. Uh, within FCNC, uh, we have two research units that are involved, BioEasy and Mare. Uh, and within BioEasy and Mare, we have three facilities that will allow us to perform all the tasks that we are um, involved in uh, so far. So we have BioEasy Genomics, where we have the platform for metagenome sequencing by long read nanopore uh, sequencing. We have also, sorry. We have also within Biotox an analytical facility that comprises both phys physiological and biochemical uh, measurements like uh, an imaging PAM and UPLC. And we have also an X-ray total um, spectroscopy so we, we can perform elemental analysis. And uh, from our university uh, from Seville partner, we have also uh, some consortia of bacteria that we uh, will test within the Revine frame. So uh, FCNC's team uh, is comprised by me, uh, by Bernard, Jennifer, Monica and Ricardo, which are the, the postdocs that will work with us. Uh, Ricardo is the head of the biogenomic facility, so uh, we will work close with him to develop the analytical pipelines. And we have also the involvement of two PhD students from my research group, Gonzalo and Cantarina. And we have made two applications for the FCT fellowship program this year. And Anna and João will probably, almost for certainly, uh, join our team also in the project. Apart from the FCNC team, we have INIAV. And if INIAV team is led by Jorge Cunha. INIAV uh, gathers the amplographic field from Portugal, so we have a representation of all the traditional uh, grapevine varieties, and we have also a crossing program that was uh, started by Jorge. Uh, from INIAV team, we have João Brazão and Francisco that will join us also in Refine. And we have our partner, our uh, company partner, Avip, uh, that uh, this uh, one is led by Miguel Cachão and also gathers Ana Chambel, Joana and Sergio uh, within the team. <coughs> Considering our experiment, uh, our experience, so uh, my team uh, is GPS lab. So at GPS lab, we have uh, eye experience in uh, grapevine pathogen interactions. We use a multiomic approach to um, select and to optimize and to characterize the different models of tolerance and resistance and we are um, now with uh, different approaches that allow us to uh, have a concerted view of uh, this and of grapevine pathogen interactions. We have uh, worked closely in the past years with BioEasy Genomics and with the Biotox Lab. With BioEasy Genomics, we have had a, a project on terroir metagenomic sequencing that I will present you a, a little bit um, later. And with Biotox Lab, we also have analyzed uh, the soil terroir and we are uh, working close by with them. Uh, this partnership with the University of Seville came uh, with Jennifer that uh, um, gained a contract here at the campus, but then she returned to Seville, but she will work also with us in Revine. As I told you, INIAV uh, gathers the amplographic field, so we have uh, at our disposal uh, many uh, grapevine varieties and different germoplasts that is not yet studied. And we have also um, a, here a solid knowledge on grapevine varieties and they lead the Journal of Viticulture and Enology, the Portuguese journal, so it could be interesting for the partners also. At AVIP, we have an experimental field nearby Lisbon, so it's more or less 30 minutes by car. And uh, they work close with producers and they have the availability for us to test our, our approaches in their experimental fields. So considering the state of the art, what we know so far and what we have done so far. In uh, relationship to the microbiome, we have uh, started working on this field uh, in 2018, 2019. 
And we started by optimizing the pipeline uh, at BioEasy Genomics. So uh, we work close by with a producer in the north of Portugal that um, has an organic vineyard. Uh, that it, it was the first certified organic vineyard in Portugal. And uh, they uh, have made us uh, a challenge of characterizing the terroir associated microbiome because they wanted to try to correlate the stability of the wines that were produced at each one of the terroirs with the soil properties. So we went there and we made um, analysis of the soil and of the plants because they have uh, the, the same variety uh, represented in all of the, of the terroirs. And we were able through elemental analysis to have 100% classification of the terroirs. So uh, this was a, a, an interesting approach that can also give us some means to, to refine. And we have established the pipeline for the metagenomic sequencing. So uh, we used Agridion at that time. Uh, and we uh, basically we went through all the pipeline and we stopped at data analysis. And then we have to break some uh, some um, some walls because we didn't have enough um, access to a database that allow us to have a thrown a good and solid classification of our uh, of our data. With this uh, approach, we were able to optimize the pipeline. So uh, we will work close with NA also to help them to optimize and and for us to further optimize this pipeline, but. From this first approach that we did uh, to soil metagenome, we were able to identify uh, archaea bacteria virus, so Luca will uh, enjoy this. And uh, the, the ones that are less represented are the, the, fungi, the fungi, so uh, we are working on this uh, now to try to improve it. Also, uh, with our civil partner, uh, Jennifer has made her PhD studies in uh, the growth promoting bacteria. So uh, she has high experience on uh, uh, characterizing the, the bacterial, um, considering environmental tolerance, uh, plant growth properties and safety and antipathogenic anti activity. And uh, she has isolated already some interesting uh, bacteria and they wor are working now with consortia that we will receive, uh, we will receive uh, nearby to test in our grapevine also. They have isolated this consortia from Spartina Maritima, which is a halophyte from the salt marshes at the south of Spain. And uh, we will start by screening this consortia, applying it to, to grapevine, uh, to greenhouse uh, plants, and screening this consortia uh, within um, the ability to improve grapevine fitness and resistance. Considering the alignment with the refined work package and, and tasks, so we will participate in tasks one, two, three, uh, six, and seven. Uh, I'm one of the leaders of task one. Uh, George will uh, be the co-leader of task 2.0 uh, uh, within work package 2 of task 2.1 and 2.4. And Avip will participate mainly on work package 2 on the application of uh, our um, uh, approaches to the field and on the experimental field trials. And um, basically, our, the approaches that we are uh, thinking uh, are here in the resume. So uh, within task 1.1, the design of microbial consortia, we want to evaluate the one that is already isolated and we want to test it here for immunity improvement. Uh, we want also so, to, go, to go... Sorry? So? We want also to go a little bit further on the characterization of uh, uh, mycorrhiza induced resistance because we have made a study last year with uh, Anna Margarida that applied to for a PhD uh, fellowship uh, where we apply endomycorrhiza to grapevine roots and we've seen that there is a modulation of uh, plasmopora viticola effectors so they are less expressed in plants that are mycorrhized and we want to seek it a little bit further also. 
We will evaluate uh, grapevine genotypes within DAST 2.4 with the INIAV because they have a collection. Jorge uh, has a collection of uh, uh, some crossing varieties and of minority cultivars that are also promising uh, to Revine's aims. And uh, we will also uh, participate in task 3.2 and 3.3 on the field evaluation. So we are thinking about going with physiological, molecular and biochemical evaluation. And also uh, with this collaboration with uh, Enea and uh, Cyprus for the metagenomic analysis. Within this task 3.3, we have to establish a sample collection and analysis protocols. So we make um, uh, a more defined protocol within the different uh, partners and within the different countries. Um, so this is mainly our approaches and our aims. Uh, I bring also here information uh, regarding the OIV research grant programs. I, I already sent it to Luca, but probably it would be interesting also for uh, Revine applications are until the 13th of September. Thank you.